Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be doing another try on haul. Um, today's one is a Zara sale try on haul. So if you want to see what I picked up in the Zara sale, then please keep watching. And also, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so I think the light might go in and out a bit just to pre-warn because the sun like, keeps going behind clouds. Um, but anyway, so the first thing that I picked up from a Zara sale is this white satin silk midi dress. So last summer was when like all those midi dresses, like the silk ones, like the spotty print, like the bright pink one, the leopard print. Like Zara had so many dresses like that, so I was like maybe this will be similar because I got three of them and I literally wear them so much that like, they're so good for work dresses and like day dresses. So I saw this and it was in the sale and it was $12.99 and all my silk dresses I got last year are all extra smalls because I found they came up really big. So with this one I thought I'd get a small, um, which is kind of like my normal size in Zara, like a small or a medium, it depends like what the fit is. Um, so I got a small and it's actually, it was quite a squeeze to get on, I couldn't step into it, I had to like wriggle it over my shoulders. Um, and I haven't done the back up because if you look at the back it's got like those buttons which are like on bridal dresses if that makes sense like they're really tiny to do up and I can't do them up by myself so it's definitely like a, a two-man job this dress um but yeah so this was 12 99 and I don't actually think it's the most flattering dress I've ever put on my body I'll just quickly go back so you can like get an idea of what it is it's also got this like split down the middle um, but I just think like where this like lace panel is, it like really emphasizes your stomach and just sort of like sits on your stomach a bit. If I come closer, that adjusts, yeah. So there's like this lace panel here and I just think like where it's positioned, it just, it's just not the most flattering thing. Um, I think like the other dresses are so much more flattering on my body shape. And yeah, I think like the style of this dress is really nice and I think it is a nice dress, but on my particular body shape, I just feel like I'd be very conscious of like my stomach. I think it just like, maybe clings a bit, um, but it is quite nice. But I just don't really think it's for me, but I guess for 12 99 it is quite a cheap dress for Zara. Um, I think it is, it is nice, but just not for me. So the next thing I picked up is this little blue frilly top thing. So I picked this up in a medium and this was 9 99 and obviously really cheap, but I just feel like I'm very exposed in this top. Like I don't think I'm used to wearing such like low things i could put it up but then i feel like it just yeah i think maybe if it was like up a bit higher it'd look a bit nicer but i just feel like i don't know i don't think i could go out comfortably and wear this top i just feel like literally my whole boobs are out um but i think the top is quite pretty like i like the frills and like all the details and it is quite like a short crop um but yeah i think for 9.99 it's quite a good summer top and if you don't mind going out with like a lot of cleavage on show then yeah this is a great top to wear um just quite like a nice summer top but just a lot of boob <laughs> um but yeah so this was a size medium and it was 9.99 so quite cheap quite affordable the fit i think is quite good it's also like really elasticated so i reckon i definitely could have got small in this because like the back is like really elasticated so there's loads of room um so that's quite good but it's a really nice color and i do like it but i just I don't think I'd feel that comfortable going out with so much boob on show. <laughs> okay, so the next top I got is this little white cropped frilly number. So when I took this out of the bag, I was like, oh, this is actually really pretty, really cute. And now I've put it on, I just feel like there's so much going on. Like, I don't know if you wear it on the shoulder, maybe on the shoulders better. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's so much going on in this top. Like it's obviously got this like the broadery thing. What's it called? I can't remember. Um, but you know that like lace that's not lace with like the holes in it, that material. Um, and also I think it really makes my shoulders look massive because obviously I'm quite broad anyway and obviously the added puff is just making me look even broader. Um, I picked this up in a small because I just knew it was going to be quite oversized anyway. Um, I reckon even an extra small, extra small maybe because there's obviously a lot of stretch in it. Um, and yeah it's just quite baggy but this was only 10 pounds so really cheap and i do think it is a nice like really cute top i just think maybe there's too much going on for my liking like maybe if one frill was removed or if it wasn't as puffy it could look nicer but i think it just really like emphasizes my broad shoulders and i don't want to make them look bigger than they already are um I think if you like have more of a like a petite frame, I think this might look nicer. But I think just for me and like my personal preference on my like body shape, I just wouldn't 
feel comfortable wearing this because I just feel like I look a bit like a rugby player, like an American footballer with like those massive shoulder pads. And that's not the vibe, like I don't want to look like that. So this will be going back, but it is a nice top if you're into this frilly, oversized type of thing. So the next little top I got is also like another like frilly number. So this was a medium and it was £10. I chose to get a medium in it because it's got a zip and I always find like tops with a little zip it's better for it to be a bit bigger than a bit smaller because sometimes they're really difficult to do up and it's like a bit small. So I got a medium and I'm not too sure what I think of it. I think, I don't think I love it. Um, I think it's quite a nice top but I just think on me, I'm not sure. I don't know if maybe the frilly like suits me, I don't really know. Um, but I think it's a nice top, it's not see-through as well which is great because obviously I don't think I'd really wear a bra with it. It's got quite a low, a low back as well. But it is quite a nice top, but I just don't really think on me this is something that I'd wear a lot. Like, it's just, I just, I don't know about the frills. <laughs> but maybe that's just on me, I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> um, and then something I got, which isn't actually from the sale, but I just saw it on the website and I was like, I really want, is these little shorts. So if I go back, you can see that they're like a really nice length and they're not too short or anything. So I got these in the medium, and I think I maybe could have got them in the small, um, because there's like a little bit of room. But they were 25 99 and I think they're actually such a nice pair of shorts. Like they're not see-through, um, they're good quality, and I've just really wanted a pair of like nice white shorts so I could dress up um, and make them like look a bit smarter. And I think because they're like long and don't cover my bum, that makes such a difference because I hate wearing shorts that cover my bum, because, no, I hate, wearing shorts that don't cover my bum because I just feel so exposed like I feel like the older I've got the more like I hate being on show if that makes sense I don't know if maybe that's just me but like I, I hate shorts that don't cover my bum I just feel so exposed and no one wants to see your bum hanging out of a pair of shorts um so yeah I thought these were a really nice little purchase and I'm really happy with them so the next item I got from Zara is this little I say little this like super oversized jumper and like this brown stripy knit print um so this was only 10 pounds which i think is so good for a knitted zara, a knitted zara jumper um and i got it in a medium because i love my jumpers like really oversized really baggy and just like you know just like big um and i really like this jumper it's actually really quite soft um like it's nice material it's not like itchy or scratchy and I just really like like the oversized jumper and I think the colours are quite nice. Like you could literally wear this in summer like as a throw on just to like keep you warm in the evening. Or you could wear it in winter. Like I think it's quite like a non-seasonal colour. I think it's like quite general if that makes any sense. I don't really know. But yeah I really like it and for £10 I was like this is great. What a steal. <laughs> okay then the final piece I got is this little two piece of Kywood. So for those of you who watched my last Zara haul I did actually end up buying this not in the sale so last time i bought this i got the top of the medium and the shorts in the medium and they were both just too big on me like i don't think the shirt fit me very well and i don't think the, sh the shorts were just like way too baggy on me so i sent it back and i did order it in a small and i was just like oh do i like it enough to pay like 50 quid for it so i basically have had like been umming and ahhing over this set for ages and then when i was looking on the zara website i was like £10 for the top and it's £10 for the bottom so they're £9.99 each and instead I was paying 50 quid, I'd be paying 20 quid and I was like that's great but so the shorts they only had in the small which is good because I think the shorts and small fit me quite well like they're a bit baggy I reckon I could have gotten away with an extra small but like they're fine you know what I mean and then with the shirts they only had an extra large left so this is actually an extra large um but I don't think it looks that offensive. Like, I don't think it looks huge on me because this is a really oversized shirt anyway. Like, there was always this bat wing type of detail, which I think makes it not look as big on me as if it was, like, a normal sleeve. Um, I was thinking potentially, like, getting this bit taken in so it, like, is a bit tighter. But also, I think if I paired this with, like, a big, chunky white belt, it would look like a, a little play suit. And I think that could be quite cute. But... I think I'm gonna keep it this time for 20 quid. Like I did love it when I first saw it and like I, I do really like it. So I was like, I might as well keep it. And especially as it was in the sale, you know, if it's in the sale, you've got to get it. It's like a sign. But yeah, I think like the extra large isn't too big. So if, if you are thinking about getting it, but the top's too big, I would say just try and see if you can get away with it. So I think like maybe if I got it taken in a bit, it would look a bit nicer, but yeah like overall i'm actually so happy i reordered this because i really liked it but i just wasn't sure if i wanted to pay 50 quid for it and now i'm paying 20 quid for it i'm like 
perfect. Um, so that is the end of my Zara sale haul. I think it was quite like a quick video. Um, but I think I felt I got a lot of pieces and I think it was only like £90 in total all of this so like pretty cheap for like a lot of items of clothing obviously the most expensive thing was the shorts but that's because they weren't in the sale but I just really liked them anyway but yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this try on haul if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time